Hey y'all, it's Jim from Small Time Outlaws. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit shorter. I'm calling it number 6.5 in my series on beginning programming in Monkey. 6.5 because I realized I had to go back because I forgot to go over the other conditional operators and an OR in the if statements video. So let's get to it! All right, starting with the fresh main function. I'm just going to quickly make a couple of variables that we're going to be comparing to each other. And so the first conditional operator I'm going to show you is the AND operator. And basically, if you can't guess, what's going to happen is if A equals 1 and B equals 2, will this entire condition be, expression be true? then it'll go into the code. Otherwise, it will go into the else or it'll skip out of the if statement altogether. I'm going to say false if it's not true and true if it's true. And then so you can see I've set up A to be 1 and B to be 2. So A equals 1 and B equals 2. Run that. You'll see that it's true. And now I can go ahead and change A to be initialized to 3. And now A, this part of the expression, this part of the total expression won't be true, so it's going to be false altogether, and go to the else and print false. And you see it prints false. And that's the AND operator, you know, pretty simple, right? So let's go with the OR. So now, what's going to happen is it's going to check if this one's true or this one's true, and it'll perform the code that it should perform when it's true. So in this case, B equals 2, this one, this side is true, but this side is false. But since one of them is true, the whole thing is true, and then it's going to print off true. So you can see, check it out. Alright, and so if you're going to be combining the different types of conditional operators, one thing you should probably need to know is the precedence that monkey places on each operator. And in this case, AND gets precedence over OR. So with this con this expression, it's going to check this section first, this set first. And if this is true or just this by itself is true, it's going the whole thing is going to be true. And in this case, it's going to be false because a is 3. Doesn't matter that b is 2 because this the because a being 3 makes that whole expression false and it's going to check if or b equals 3 which it's not so the whole thing is going to be false now and you'll see that it's false now if you ever lose track of which one takes precedence over the other what you can do and which is what I always do is I use parentheses because the parentheses take precedence over both of them so in this case this part of the conditional expression is going to be evaluated before this part and what I want one thing I'm going to quickly do here is change the B to be initialized to 3, which is going to make this part true, but this part's going to be f false, making the whole thing false. I can run that for you right now so you can see it. False. Because A does not equal 1, in fact. Now, if I get rid of the parentheses, this part's going to be false once again, because neither of these are 3, but this part is true because B does in fact equal 3 so it's going to be true. Now one last thing you should know about these conditional operators is that with the AND if with AND since it requires both sides to be true if the left side is false it's not even going to look at the right side so if you had some kind of function doing something like this, in this case I'm going to do print just to demonstrate and it's going to print uh, checked condition. And so you'll see that because A does not equal 1, it's going to check that, see that it's false, see that this next part is like, oh, you're using the AND operator, so I'm not even going to bother checking this next part, and I'm going to go on to OR B equals 3 and continue with the code. So you'll see, doesn't even doesn't print check condition. So if I change this to the 3 real fast, You'll see that it's going to see this, that this is true, so it's got to see, oh, oh, you're using an and now, so i got to check the other side. Make sure it's true as well, and then it's going to print check condition. 
And then the same kind of thing happens with the or, and I'm going to want to get rid of this. I'm going to say, now with the or, if it finds that the left side is true, it's not even going to bother checking the right side because it doesn't need to because it, it's like, because it, it only needs one side to be true. And of course in this case, the b equals 2 is false, so it had to check the other side. Now I can change b to 3. So it's gonna, this is going to be true, and then it's going to skip the rest. So that's, you know, just one good thing to know about these these operators. So in case you're wondering, well, why isn't this part of my code running? Well, it's because monkey is efficient. And that'll do it for this video. Uh, see you in the next one. Don't forget, you can email me at jim at smalltimeoutlaws.com, or you can put some comments down below. If you have any questions about what we're going over, all right? Thanks for watching.